Hello dear students, today I am here to teach you chapter 10 from your English 1 textbook and the name of the chapter is the personal assistant. Before starting the chapter, I would like to make you learn some new words that we will come across this chapter along with their meaning. So the words are tidying, keeping things neat and in order, pile up, keep on increasing or collecting, personal assistant, a person whose job is to take care of letters, other paperwork his or her employer gets. Suitable, right and fitting. Pile, a number of things kept one on top of the other. Now let's begin the chapter. There was a shop and the owner of the shop was Mr. Sharma. Many people come to his shop and he enjoy talking to them. He also enjoy selling things. But there is one thing that he does not like doing at all, tidying papers and sending replies. As he does not like tidying papers, so the paper began increasing day by day. As a result, he could not find his bills and pay them. Having faced so much of trouble, Mr. Sharma decided that he needs a personal assistant who could look after his works. After deciding to keep a personal assistant, he puts up a notice in the shop window. Next morning, when Mr. Sharma was dusting the shelves, he heard a knock at the door. He thought that someone might have come for the job. When he opened the door, he saw a dog walking in. He asked the dog what is it doing in his shop and started chasing the dog. In spite of chasing, the dog did not go away and it raised a paw and pointed towards the notice in which it was written. Personal assistant wanted. Number one, must be good at tidying paper. Number two, must be able to type letters. Number three, must speak another language. But Mr. Sharma said that he need a personal assistant, not a dog. Then the dog nodded again. Mr. Sharma said that the dog is not suitable for the job and that his notice clearly says, one must be good at tidying papers. Hearing this, the dog went to Mr. Sharma's desk and started tidying up the letters, list and bills into separate piles and then it put the piles into different cupboard files. Mr. Sharma had never kept his desk so tidy before as the dog had kept it. Mr. Sharma thanked the dog and said that he is sorry as because his notice also says that one must be able to type letters. Hearing this, the dog sat on the chair of Mr. Sharma and it started typing letters quickly. A few minutes later, the dog kept a neatly typed letter on the table. The letter does not have a single mistake in it. Then Mr. Sharma appreciated the dog saying that he is very good but again he said he cannot give the job to a dog as the notice says. Must speak another language. 
After hearing this, the dog looked in the eyes of Mr. Sharma and said, "Meow." So, my dear student, you have just heard about the story of Mr. Sharma and the smart dog, who surprised Mr. Sharma with its cleverness and creativity. Thank you and take care of yourself.